Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to install Jenkins. Let me answer. In order to install Jenkins, first we have to download Jenkins. So how to download Jenkins? For that, we have to visit the official website of Jenkins like this. Jenkins or you can even search like this Jenkins download and search and in the search results you will get this uh, official website of Jenkins with this icon Jenkins.io is the official website of Jenkins and you can directly go to the download page by clicking this link now you are on the download page of this official website of Jenkins that is Jenkins.io and in that we have to look for the LTS version okay and these are not LTS versions they are uh, getting released weekly LTS means uh, they will be there for a long time and they have the supports. They will get up, uh, updates and all those stuff, okay? And these are stable actually, okay? These are not stable much. So we'll go with the stable LTS versions. So under the stable LTS, scroll down. Here you will see download Jenkins. This section is stable LTS. This is like weekly releases. We have to go with the stable LTS. Under the stable LTS, download Jenkins LTS kind of version, whatever the latest version at your time that is. When I am recording this video, this is the latest version. At, at your time of uh, downloading Jenkins, it may be a, another version. That's okay. Whatever the version that may be, you have to look for this dot .war file. Generic Java package dot .war file. Okay. Under LTS. Click on this. In a while, this Jenkins war file will get downloaded. Okay. You see it started downloading. Jenkins dot .war is getting downloaded. Okay. So let's wait for the download to finish up. Won't take much time. So once the downloading of this Jenkins.war file is completed, then uh, yeah, it's completed. Looks like it got completed. You will get this folder option, show in folder, and you'll be taken to this downloads uh, folder where this Jenkins.war file got downloaded. Now what you have to do is you have to open the command prompt at this location where this Jenkins.war file is downloaded or available. So for that, I'll select this uh, downloads folder path and type cmd in press enter. The command prompt will open at this downloads folder location where this Jenkins.war file is available. Now I'll type a command that is java hyphen jar and uh, you have to give this uh, file name and uh, extension Jenkins.war, war, okay? Java hyphen jar Jenkins.war. This command if you give and press enter, okay? So let's see what's happening. It's running and all. So it has to be installed. Uh, we are in the process of installing Jenkins. Let's see what is going to happen. Let's all these log messages come in. So it's giving you one password. As you can see, there is one password, right? This password we need, or you can also go to this location in your machine where you can find the password, okay? You can copy from here, or you can go to this location in your machine to get this password, to copy this password. So uh, what you will do here is uh, how to get this password and all, we'll see it later. But if you run this command, this is a process of installing guys, okay? You will get this password. And this password is also available at this location. We'll later go to this location. For now, we'll open one browser. Jenkins by default, will run at uh, port number localhost colon 8080 port. Okay, by default, Jenkins will run at 8080 port number. That is a default port. If you want it to run at a default, uh, different port number, there will be a different command. Okay, so don't worry about that. So for now, by default, Jenkins will run at 8080 port number. Localhost means your computer machine. Instead of giving the IP address of your computer machine, you can write localhost and put a colon here. And after the colon, you give 8080 port number, press enter. Let's see what will happen. You see, it's loading, sign in Jenkins is coming, unlock Jenkins. In order to unlock Jenkins, we need that password that we got it here. We have to either copy this password or we can go to this location. The easiest way is to go to this location that is a C drive. In the C drive, uh, users folder, go to the users folder. In the users folder, you will find uh, this 
the username folder. In the username folder, you have to go to dot Jenkins. The dot Jenkins folder has been created here. Under the dot Jenkins, you will find the secrets folder. Under the secret secrets folder, you will find initial admin password. Right click on this initial admin password and say open with and choose some notepad file, notepad or some kind of software and just once and it will open in the notepad file and uh, carefully copy the password without any space, extra spaces and all. You see, I properly copied the password without uh, any extra spaces and all. Now go back to that uh, page to unlock the Jenkins and here paste the password. That's it. Now click on continue. Just click on continue. Just click on continue and it will give you this customized Jenkins install suggested plugins. Select this install suggested plugins. Okay, you see, uh, we have to wait until all these plugins get installed. So I'll pass the recording and uh, once the plugins get installed, I'll resume. As you can see, all the plugins got successfully installed. The progress is almost at the end. Let's wait for this uh, to be completed. Yeah, it's completed. And now it's asking you to create an account. So I just passed the process, guys. A lot of uh, plugins will, you know, turn into green. Sometimes what happens is the plugin will get failed. And, uh, you know, uh, in that case, you have to reinstall again. For that, what you have to do is, again, you have to go to this uh, users folder under my username. You have to go and delete this dot Jenkins and uh, start this uh, command line again and uh, run this command again. In some cases, it will happen where some plugins will fail no matter how many times you try. The plug, uh, plugins will keep failing. In that, you have to clear your uh, this Jenkins folder, guys. Okay, this problem may be faced by someone. Today, luckily, everything is working fine. Okay, so you can go to the users folder, username folder, and if some plugin is not uh, has not got installed and you are not taken here, in that case, instead of proceeding, even after trying multiple times, it will give you multiple choice, multiple options where retry, retry kind of thing. After multiple retries, if the plugins are not getting installed, then you have to come here and uh, delete this dot Jenkins folder under this username folder and freshly open the command prompt and run this command again. And then again, start the process, localhost 8080, and then install the plugins. You have to keep doing that until you come to this page. There's no other way, guys. Sometimes it may happen. These days, it's not happening much, but uh, unluckily, sometimes due to network issues or whatever it is, we don't know, or the Jenkins uh, side, the problems may be there, whatever it is, you have to keep trying until you come to this page and you give some username. I'll generally prefer to give my username as my first name and last name are Motori and password. I'll give it as one, two, three, four, five as a password. Okay, some simple password I'm giving and uh, full name I'm giving Arun Motori as my full name and uh, save and continue, I'll say. So this admin user we are creating, is there anything uh, in email address it is asking, I'll give my official email address and save and continue, okay? And then instance and uh, you want to keep it as 8080 only, right? This is fine, I don't want to change anything. If you have any other plans, you can update it. Save and finish. Jenkins is ready. This is how we have to install. Okay. And uh, start using Jenkins. Make sure that when you are using Jenkins, uh, you know, uh, this command prompt, command uh, CMD tool is uh, still running. Okay. This command line is still open. If you close it, uh, this access to Jenkins will go away. You see, we have, we were able to log into Jenkins. You can log out, log in again if you want. And uh, here is the way we have to do work on Jenkins. Okay. So if you close this command prompt, and refresh here, you will get error. You see the site can't be reached. So make sure that when you are using Jenkins, make sure that that command prompt is not closed. Okay, so this is the process of installing Jenkins with the help of this command known as java-jar jenkins.war, guys. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.